the Avdiivka offensive forced Russian troops to walk a mile in Ukrainian shoes. Like the Ukrainians during the counteroffensive on the southern front, the Russians had to wade through vast minefields under relentless artillery fire. Our weekly review focuses on events and trends on the front lines of the Russian-Ukrainian war. We analyze the latest developments in the hottest spots on the war map, strikes on logistics and command posts behind the enemy lines, and the impact of such strikes on combat operations. Last week, the Russian army mounted a massive onslaught on the Eastern Front, attempting to encircle and occupy the Ukrainian stronghold of Avdiivka in the Donetsk Oblast. Russian general staff amassed forces north and south of Avdiivka to attack the Ukrainian garrison from the flanks instead of ferocious frontal assaults. Meanwhile, the Ukrainian army continued its slow but steady advance on the southern front. Russia intensified its attacks in the Kupian sector of the Eastern Front in the Kharkiv and Luhansk oblasts to divert Ukrainian forces from other sectors. Despite Russian attempts to reverse the overall dynamics, Ukraine's armed forces still hold the strategic initiative along almost the entire front line, stretching more than 1,200 kilometers. The Russians launched counterattacks to regain the lost ground and stop Ukrainian forces from consolidating their positions on the flanks near Robotin in the Zaporizhia Oblast, southeastern Ukraine. The Ukrainians still control 100% of the city and vital commanding heights around it, despite Russian pressure on the flanks. Currently, Avdiivka is surrounded by Russian forces from the east, southwest, and northeast. However, the critical supply routes west of Avdiivka are under Ukrainian control. Avdiivka is located about 10 kilometers north of Russian-occupied Donetsk City, an important logistics hub of the Russian forces in eastern Ukraine. Last week's assault on Avdiivka was the most massive offensive by Russian troops in 2023. Apart from the attempt to capture a strategically important Ukrainian stronghold, the Russian military command tried to divert Ukrainian reserves from the Bakhmut sector, Eastern Front, and Zaporizhia Oblast, Southern Front, where the Ukrainians are slowly grinding forward. Since the beginning of the full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February 2022, the Russian army has been trying to break through Ukrainian fortifications and occupy Avdiivka, albeit with little success. The Ukrainians were well prepared for such a development. All important strategic positions in and around Avdiivka are cast in reinforced concrete, an extensive network of fortifications is connected by passages, trenches, and underground tunnels that allow Ukrainian troops to survive intensive artillery shelling. All approaches to the city from the Russian-occupied territories are packed with anti-tank and anti-personnel mines. In addition to concerted artillery fire, the Ukrainians actively used cluster munitions and kamikaze drones to hit infantry and armor. Russian armored vehicles and tanks snaked along narrow mine-free pathways among the vast minefields around Avdiivka only to get hit by Ukrainian drones or artillery fire. Although the Russians failed to achieve any major breakthroughs and sustain heavy casualties during the first four days of the Avdiivka offensive, they continued their attempts to advance. The Ukrainian 110th Brigade, reinforced by the 2nd Battalion of the Presidential Brigade and several Special Forces units, showed high combat and held the first line of defense north and south of Avdiivka, Ukrainian war reporter Yuri Butusov reported. The Russian blitzkrieg near Avdiivka failed. On the fifth day of the offensive, the pace of the Russian advance sharply decreased. The Russian forces in the Avdiivka sector began to run out of manpower armor, and ammunition, 
which did not allow them to maintain a high offensive tempo and make significant breakthroughs. However, the Institute for the Study of War said on Wednesday that Russia had made confirmed advances in the direction of Avdiivka and that Ukrainian forces have conducted limited counterattacks but did not make any confirmed gains. The 26-second clip shows aerial footage of what the channel claimed was a Russian column of military vehicles moving towards a railway track from the town of Krasnohorivka, around 15 miles to the southwest. On Wednesday that Russian forces appear to be regrouping and there will likely be a new stage of fighting in the coming days. The Ukrainian general staff said that Russian forces have not given up efforts to surround the city. The Ukrainian general staff reported that Ukrainian forces repelled a total of 22 Russian attacks in the Avdiivka direction in the past day, notably fewer than the 30 reported attacks on October 15, the ISDU wrote. Russian sources noted that Russian forces have increased the intensity of air and artillery strikes on the settlement in order to compensate for slow ground maneuvers, which are complicated by heavy Ukrainian fortifications surrounding Avdiivka. Since losing the city to Russian forces, led by Wagner Group mercenaries, in May, Ukrainian units have been inching forwards around its northern and southern flanks, while their comrades push the main Ukrainian counteroffensive focus on the southwestern Zaporizhia front.